At ease, Marines. Welcome to the Tank Command Proving Grounds. You are here to learn the finer points of the M182 Abrams Main Battle Tank. You will be put through a series of exercises designed by our instructors to enhance and evaluate your ability to move, shoot, and communicate in various armored combat missions. Successful completion of these exercises is not optional. You will master the basics of tank warfare before assuming your position in the 7th Tank Battalion and moving on to real-world missions. I'll see you on the ramp at 0800. Now get out there and put some steel on target. Dismiss! <laughs> Proceed across the line of departure. You will follow through to phase line Puma, to checkpoint Alpha. This is a shakedown cruise. So take your time. Get yourself used to how she handles. Questions? No, no sir. sir. Questions? No, no sir. sir. Good luck. Dismiss. All right, ladies, I will be your instructor. This is my range. It is my job to weed out all non-hackers who don't pack the gear to serve my beloved core. While here in my training, you will give it your 100%. You will give it 110%. You will learn. I will make you learn. It is my job. The only way you are leaving my training course is in a body bag. Do you understand me, ladies? your waypoints through phase line Puma. Proceed to checkpoint Alpha. Waypoints are represented by colored stakes. The number floating above each waypoint is the distance in kilometers or clicks. Yellow stake is your next waypoint. As you reach the current waypoint, the next one will change colors. The waypoint carrot indicates the direction to the next waypoint. Select the commander's hatch, open view. By looking out of the hatch, the commander can view the battlefield and see the death and destruction. From here, you can also take control of the 50 cal and cut loose. Up ahead is the base airfield. Air support will consist of either the Apache gunships or the death from above, a ton warthog. The help on the Apache can completely destroy a tank. 30 millimeter cannon on the A-10 will rain death and destruction on your enemy and send him straight to hell. Coming up on one of the live fire ranges. Looks like there's a platoon of Brad up on the fire line. The Bradley lacks in armor they make up for speed and versatility. Bradley can be fitted with a Stinger anti-air missile. It can also be equipped with anti-tank guided missiles. 
You just crossed baseline Puma. Say to checkpoint Alpha. Up ahead is artillery range. You request Artie and MLRS will answer the call. Each MLRS can fire a salvo of up to 12 rockets. This is enough to completely destroy anything in the area. If you're pinned down by enemy armor, there's nothing like a little arty to make the enemy's butt pucker. CITV for the commander's independent thermal viewer. It's used by the commander to locate the enemy. You can pan CITV 360 degrees independently of the turret. This allows you to search for new targets while the gunner destroys other targets. Enter Vehicular Information System, or IVIS, is a network shared by the Allies. When an Allied unit spots an enemy unit, this information is instantly transferred through the IVIS. You can also alter the waypoints of any of your Allies. Blue indicates friendly units. Red indicates enemy forces. Gold rings indicate your objective. Black indicates dead units. Now everyone will know where the enemy's at, and you can destroy him! Well done, Devil Dog. I'll see you on the ramp for basic gunnery. Echo lead, this is Oscar 6. We just got word on the enemy's field base. We want you to take it out. Roger, Oscar 6. Let's move it up, Marines. Contact. 
Taking F5. Target obscured. On F5. Target obscured. Low heat. PC identified. Target obscured. Low sable. Take identified. 